Las Vegas and dressing up like a showgirl. I think that it's something that all of us girls want to get dressed up in as many rhinestones and feathers and sequins as we can and look as glamorous as possible and do a great big pose. <laughs> My parents moved me here when I was 17 and I've been designing showgirl costumes and doing everything in show business since then. So I believe that the, the old Vegas signs actually are a good inspiration for the costumes. There were so many lights, it was so hot. The colors were so brilliant and in those days it really was one bulb at a time. So I start with the skull cap, which basically it looks like this. It's buckram, wire, and a lot of shellac and felt. The bras and the G-strings, uh, they're also pretty time consuming. I mean, this isn't something that you can just go uh, purchase anywhere, and the people that were ordering these know it. Everything is all hand done, it's all hand welded on there, and the sequins are all hand welded. And I try to use the best materials that I can find. I was too short to be a showgirl, a real showgirl on a Vegas stage. So I was a showgirl, the respect of meeting and greeting people at the airport, of going out to events and handing things out, that type of thing. And it was really exciting. I was one of the first people that, that actually did that in town. It was definitely old Vegas and an inspiration and I met a lot of celebrities and learned how to, to work with them because they really are just like all of us. And I'm creating the fantasy for them. I love that part. It's really fun. It is fun to see someone transform. And I see them come out of the dressing room or they send me the pictures after they've gone to the event, the bachelor party or whatever they've done. You know, it's just so funny to see the transformation that a wig or a pair of glasses or, you know, a big headpiece can make. 